happening guys, this is Bazna Akwal for Ike Android In and today we are going to be reviewing the new Carbon A30 Tafon or a, a phablet uh, that has been launched by Carbon in India. Now this is a 5.9 inch display you can see over here, it's a diagonal 5.9 inch display and uh, the device has a dual core processor which is running at 1 gigahertz. It also has uh, a power VR SGX 531 GPU. Essentially, what Carbon has done with this device is they have tapped into the phablet market space. Uh, they have continued to call it a phone as well, since you do have a SIM card capability in here. Uh, but they've also kind of uh, tapped into uh, the tablet market space uh, with this device. So uh, let's begin uh, with uh, the Carbon TAR phone. Now you can see you have a 5.9 inch display, as I said earlier, 480 by 800 pixel resolution, which I do not like uh, because of the simple fact that the pixel density is so low that uh, it reduces the kind of quality of the display. Uh, but let's uh, talk about the hardware on the outside first. So like I said, we have a one gigahertz dual core processor. We have a power uh, VR SGX 531 GPU. We have a 2500 milliampere hour battery. On the back, we have an eight megapixel camera, uh, which is capable of 720p video. And on the front over here, we have a 1.3 megapixel camera, which can uh, help you uh, click portraits as well. Uh, on the inside, we have about 512 MB of uh, RAM, uh, which we saw actually is about 400 odd megabytes, not 512 as mentioned. The overall weight of the device is fairly heavy at 280 grams and uh, the device is running Android Ice Cream Sandwich. So uh, let's begin with talking about the interface. Uh, the device has the standard lock screen interface. There are a certain bit of customizations done by Carbon for this device. So you have date and time display over here and you have your network information which shows up here once you have your SIM card in there. Now you can directly unlock into the camera or you can unlock the device and go into the OS over here and uh, you can see the notification panel gives you live updates over here and it also gives you your sim card information so if you have sim cards in there it'll give you sim card information on that as well uh, you can also adjust your brightness timeout etc and your wi-fi bluetooth gps can be turned on or off uh, from the notification panel thanks to these quick launch widgets you can also quickly jump into your settings and uh, take a look at the device and you can see over here that the system is running 4.0.4 android ice cream sandwich in terms of phone call capability the phone has a nice dialer making phone calls was fairly easy network was strong we had no issues making phone calls long conversations we got about four and a half hours of talk time uh, based on uh, the battery that is in the device so that's decent uh, you get your call logs over here and you can also connect to your contact information from here as well if we look at the keyboard it is a standard stock android keyboard so not a lot of customizations done for the keyboard of course you can get lots of keyboard replacements uh, using this keyboard with one hand is practically impossible because the screen is so wide if you try to use it with one hand or type with one thumb uh, it was not possible for me unless you have giant fingers I don't think you'll be able to do that. If you turn the device into landscape, you get a fairly large and uh, nice landscape keyboard as well. Typing on this with the thumb was also quite difficult with both hands in uh, place. Uh, sometimes reaching things like T is uh, impossible uh, thanks to the large size of the display. So you'll have to hold it with one hand and type with another if you're trying to use landscape or you'll have to lay it flat on the table and then do it. So uh, that's that. Uh, if you go into the browser, which is ironically labeled with an Internet Explorer icon, I'm going to open up iGAN.in over here real quick. It'll open up our website in the mobile mode. The browser is really nice and responsive. No complaints with the browser. Uh, it's really smooth. I'm just going to quickly jump to the full website right now. Show you that it does uh, render most of the pages without any issues. Uh, we were pretty happy with the responsiveness of the browser. It loads up images really fast. Uh, loads up text really fast as well and it's very very smooth no lag jutter free again the resolution of the display is very evident uh, that it is a low res display uh, because of the fact that even when you open up the browser you can see that uh, text is not very crystal clear it's not very crisp and uh, you can make the difference uh, when all the graphics and everything starts to blunder away into the display now in terms of video playback, again, you'll start to notice uh, the pixelation on uh, the content. Uh, the device is not capable of playing full HD video. If you do play 720p videos or standard definition videos, because the display is so wide, it stretches it out completely and you can start to see the pixelation uh, in the display. Now let me quickly load up our videos. Uh, it's not searching, so I'll just quickly search for Aiga. 
and uh, let's load up one of our videos from the past so if we load up an igan tv episode so as you can see uh, the display is really washed out and uh, it kind of looks uh, choppy it's also very pixelated and that's thanks to uh, the resolution of the display it's a wga display uh, not attractive at all on a 5.9 inch at least the least they could have done is given it a 720p or slightly bigger a qhd display would have also done uh, but uh, this time around they've actually not done justice to the display in terms of gaming we played a lot of games on the carbon a30 ta phone and most of the games ran well in fifa 2012 uh, we saw that the field had changed color and it had a very colorful display and um, we couldn't download heavy graphic games uh, such as asphalt and uh, nova 3 because uh, they just failed to download and said that this device is not capable or compatible uh, with those games possibly if somebody finds a way to root these devices and download those but out of the box out of the stock version of android that's on here you will not get uh, high quality games running on this and even though fifa ran quite well the fact that it didn't lay out the field properly is possibly because of the fact that the resolution and the size of the screen didn't match up and that kind of ruined the gaming experience completely for us the responsiveness of the screen is not so great either we have five touch points that are not very accurate and the screen is not very responsive and thus uh, while playing games uh, while interacting with the phone we saw that most of the time the phone would not recognize our gesture not recognize our input so that's something that we are disappointed about as well one thing that uh, carbon has added into this is the gesture mode it's a little gimmicky system that allows you to do things swipe through pictures etc by simply waving your hand across the device now i remember micromax had tried this with their first super phone and they failed quite miserably so it's a similar situation for carbon as well uh, where simply browsing through pictures is not so easy and gesture mode almost never works for us so you have to just wave your arm over the phone like i am doing so right now and it does switch through images but as you can see it's very very gimmicky so i rather just do this so just a gimmick add on the gesture mode not really useful i'm sure there's an app available on the android marketplace that allows you to do that as well there are a bunch of apps that are pre installed on the device that are more or less useless if you do want to use them you can there are some apps that are installed for uh, the indian market you might want to try them out so there you go guys this was a detailed review of the carbon a30 smartphone or uh, the ta phone what carbon has essentially done is tried to tap into the phablet market try to tap into the tablet market but one major flaw of this device is that the performance is not up to mark the hardware is not up to mark the display is a big let down Uh, we are rather off uh, recommending you guys to spend your money elsewhere uh, look for alternatives you have some nice sony phones for the 13000 price mark you have some carbon phones that are for that price mark uh, you also have some micromax phones that are available for cheaper than this so you can choose you can pick and choose your uh, favorite device if you do want to get into that 5.9 inch phone segment if you can use such a big device it's up to you Uh, but uh, the display quality and the overall performance does not match up to standards of phablets that have been set out and all of the attempt from carbon is a notably nice attempt uh, but we'll have to wait for the second iteration of this device which will have a nice higher resolution display that will make using a device like this a lot more fun overall the device is fat and bulky and may not appeal to everyone but for those who like to carry such a big device and who would like to buy a device which is a tablet and phone replacement uh, then the carbon ta phone might solve your purpose if you're going to use it for general day to day use and basic gaming one more thing guys i'd like to add on to the review before i quit this video is uh, the fact that it does come with this additional flip cover that makes the phone look really nice however uh, the quality of uh, the cover is not very great and uh, the fact that the cover the back plate of the cover easily comes off uh, from the main leathery bit of the cover is actually very disappointing so the build quality of the cover or the case that is included for free is not so great maybe you can glue it back on we tried several times but it kept coming off so uh, this is something that you might want to consider because if you open your phone like this 
there's a big possibility that the phone actually slips out of the back cover and falls out. So that's something that you might want to look at. So there you go, guys. Uh, this was a video for the Carbon Tower phone. If you have any questions or queries, uh, you can check out the full review on iGAN.in or you can leave your questions in the comment section below or on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. And uh, do subscribe to our YouTube channels, youtube.com slash iGAN, youtube.com slash iGAN TV. And until I see you next time, guys, we'll